And we began looking into that suspect, Trayvon Rogan, who's checkered, who has a checkered past with police. ABC 21's Caitlin Kendall digs deeper on that. Brian, we're digging deeper into the history of Rogan tonight. ABC 21 learned that in December of 2017, Rogan and another man showed up at a hospital after being stabbed. Rogan was in serious condition. At the time, police saying the two weren't cooperating. Then in February of 2018, Rogan was arrested, along with three others in a drug bust. Police then saying they served a warrant at a home on Buchanan Street. And as crews were making their way inside the home, a gunshot was fired from somebody inside, but no one was hurt. Officers found two guns, including one that was stolen, plus 100 grams of marijuana and paraphernalia. Rogan was charged with visiting a common nuisance and spent 180 days behind bars. When Rogan showed up at the hospital with stab wounds, the police spokesperson at the time had this to say. So at this point, we've got two individuals suffered uh, injuries as a result of a stabbing or a cutting and nothing else. And until they decide to cooperate with investigators, we're, we're in a holding pattern. Rogan appeared before a judge this morning and was issued no bond. Brian? Caitlin, thank you. Stay with us for more on this developing investigation.